Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, I had yesterday something new in my, well, it's not new because I started looking into the history of updates. I noticed that this is something that is recurring, that sometimes happens. Um, I've seen one that was much older. So when we got our patch Tuesday, I had something called Online Service Experience Pack. And it was saying Windows.Settings.Account. So uh, here it says improves the delivery of user experiences from the cloud. What is it exactly? Uh, so there's different versions of it. Now that one that downloaded yesterday was version 4.0.613.0. It appeared only on my 23H2 Windows 11 machine. And it not, did not appear on any other machine running Windows 11. Um, some of you have said you've got it. Some of you have said a lot of you have said you didn't have it. And what it actually does is uh, one of those, you know, obscure, not well explained by Microsoft uh, download and the updates. And what it does is it tweaks different aspects of your Windows operating system. So it could be changing something in the settings. It could be changing something uh, visible or something that isn't visible in the background, something that Microsoft wants to do a, a change for. Uh, once again, Microsoft in all of its pages that deal with this does not explain really much except, oh, it changes things. Yeah, it'd be fun to know what it changed when I got it. Uh, so it's really one of those obscure updates that just do little things here and there. Um, the phrase they use is that the update actually will change some of the features uh, and some of the settings in the background without having to, you know, install Windows or have a big update. Um, it's just going to change or do a, a slight change within the operating system. Now, it does mention that it seems to be cloud-related. It could be due to a fix or a change in, for example, the Windows Cloud download when you do a reinstall of Windows through the uh, Windows 11 uh, settings. Uh, one of the updates, one of the options is that to actually download an image from the cloud to reinstall. So um, it could have to do something with that, with the description they're giving. But once again, don't try to find any real explanation. Once it, Microsoft is... Once again, just saying, oh, yeah, it fixes things, uh, which is not exactly what you want to hear. But anyways, that's the way it is. So some of you will see that you have probably an old one if you go through your settings uh, back in time. And some will get, you know, they could pop up at random at any time on a machine, depending on what Microsoft is trying to fix or change. If you enjoy my videos, please uh, subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.